Hey guys, how are you? And guys, when you get inside here, it is just an onslaught of video games right in your face, just like it was back in the 80s and 90s. So cool to see all these cabs just straight in there. It's an old Space Invaders. i tell you what, this was a bit of a, uh, a hack, Space Invaders. It wasn't a genuine one. I was playing Space Wars, in fact. Um, and uh, initially it tricked us thinking it was a, a real machine, but you can see there the ships are different. Uh, and you can see there is also high scores up there as well. So some sort of multi cade in there, I think. These guys have been getting the, in, in the uh, Perth, so it's cool to see that. WrestleFest, X-Men, uh, Simpsons, a couple of four players there, uh, Terminator, and uh, through to NBA Jam. This is an absolute classic. So some are a lot sort of later 80s, 90s games. We've got uh, Killer Instinct 2, which was off, unfortunately. Um, hang time, uh, hang time, yep, 2000. And um, we have, uh, and Super Mario Brothers. And then what arcade wouldn't be complete without a Sega Rally. And these, these, this setup was really nice. Look at those monitors, beautiful. Um, absolute classic game through to uh, Time Crisis. Quite an odd one this one because it was just a single shooter rather than the dual one. I haven't seen a single one like that before but definitely set up as a single. And then Operation Thunderbolt off to the left. Then round back round to the front again where we came in on the back wall we've got an original Frogger which is always cool to see. Uh, has some side art there which is a bit different from the US one which is just a brown. Uh, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, people cranking out on that. We've got Mortal Kombat, an absolute staple game. Everyone should have it. Centipede, boys here uh, cracking on with it. Hopefully I didn't put them off there. <laughs> Pole position, um, again, absolute classic. Uh, Favourite of mine, Dr. Mario. And then through to Battle Shark. What a crazy cab that is. Total game. And then tucked away in the corner at Battle Zone. I was so hoping that this would be working, guys. It's an Atari classic. Um, of course, it's a vector, and I really want to. I need some vector goodness in my life. And I was hoping that I would be able to. Uh, play this but unfortunately it was not working. Look at this uh, control panel though, absolutely first class. Hopefully they can get that going. Um, they are swapping in and out machines um, so that is pretty cool. We've got a virtual fighter, the marquee's not working there, a roller thunder, rolling thunder and a chase HQ which looks a bit odd with the screen colors there slightly off but guys this setup here, um, you can see it panning around, is a really nice cozy it's a real nice dark arcade feeling without being too dingy um, you really just need to add smoke from back in the day to give it that same atmosphere um, i think if they could put some dry ice maybe occasionally push that out that would be pretty awesome but yeah the bar is set up at the top there and uh, that's a really nice selection of machines and great to see so many people enjoying it but that's not all because we have a downstairs area guys and we've got a classic here double dragon and a very small little cab there operation wolf and then we've got the pennies we've got um, uh, rocky and bullwinkle in the corner um, we have our fish tails which is what we want to use look at this guy he can't get that ball going uh, we've got a wrestle fest uh, not a wrestle fest a royal rumble i should say and uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon, which is pretty awesome, but the absolute jaw in the crown would have to be the Lucy ACDC in the far right. So fish, of course, on top of the fish tails, we've got the topper, <laughs> which is great. But more games down here, guys. Another Mortal Kombat. So there's one down here and one upstairs. This is a bit unusual. They've got the two. Got a Dig Dug here in the uh, original cabinet, although that Dig Dug that is playing, I can recognize it out of the... Um, that classic collection of Namco's so that has the arrangement mix and stuff so that's pretty cool that they've got that in there or something different we've got turtles down here as well and then we've got this um, strange Aerosmith game called Revolution right from Midway and I, I'd really actually like to play that I didn't actually get to play it um, we sort of focused on just the pennies but need to come back and play that give it a try out 
Good old championship sprint, that looks familiar. Very much like mine, but in much better condition. They've taken their side off art off as well. <laughs> um, we got a, a gauntlet, four player gauntlet sitting there. And this was a nice arrangement of cabs. They had them sort of back to back um, in a quadrant, which was cool. Uh, we've got a street fighter sitting off the back of that and then we have a point blank two actually really like this cabinet it's got really cool art on the side there it's awesome and then of course what well, arcade wouldn't be complete without our good friends daytona usa <laughs> hey boys <laughs> um and yeah you're gonna find daytona in every arcade right and then a uh, uh vendetta so a really really cool lineup down in the basement here follows on still with some bowling which is a good trackball game from intelligent technologies um through to the skins game then through to time crisis 3 that's a fantastic marquee that and an awesome game with the guys playing it extreme hunter another one through to a little bubble bobble on the corner just at the back of that um, was a potato game there um, I missed actually what that was when we had Tekken 2 uh, which wasn't working unfortunately and ground effects so yeah guys that is what is downstairs a great little layout it's got another bar down here people are cranking away remember this was pretty late by the time we got there um, but you know having a nice selection of pins um, was cool and again just with the bar and all the arcades it was pretty good to see uh, a nice relaxed place it's kind of get a place you can just rock up to you guys and have fun so there you have it a uh, quick look there at palace arcade and let me tell you guys i am i'm impressed i am impressed with that place um it's really really nice it really gives you the the sense of an old arcade check it out if you are in perth you live here if you're passing through make sure you head out there look them up uh, they're on facebook and stuff you can see what they're doing um, i must admit I, I i noticed that there was a lot of classic games that weren't there i mean they didn't have an original spaces that was a bootleg um, there was no galaxian there was no galaga there was no pac-man mrs pac-man um, defender uh, Popeye, Pingo, <laughs> a lot of the 80s stuff that wasn't there, so it was a lot of 90s machines, but they looked very popular. And I guess at the end of the day, that's the, the key thing, they need to be popular for people to play them. The card system worked really, really well, just, you know, far rather have a 20, mind you, but have a card system is pretty cool. Um, the, the bar staff and everyone there was super, super nice. Um, to be honest, I didn't actually let them know that I was filming and they didn't really bat an eyelid. I think the, the, one of the bar guys looked up at the camera at one point thinking, what, what am I doing? But um, uh, super nice uh, bunch of people. And I really felt like it was sort of like almost walking into my own uh, arcade at home here and having friends over and stuff and just, you know, um, the, the bunch of people that were there which just seemed like really nice you know bunch of people <laughs> I, don't know. I mean it's Friday night and it's pretty late um, I don't know how if it changes throughout the day um, but yeah it seemed really really nice now, they do do food there they do pizzas I believe I could smell some pizza at one point I couldn't see where they were actually um, creating that stuff out because it looked like just two bars but there is food there it would be really cool if they did burgers because back in the day, guys in Christchurch, burgers was what it's all about. You go to an arcade, you get a burger. Um, but they didn't have that. The other thing that was a bit odd, well, not odd to me, but I just thought I thought they would have more cocktail tables. You know, I thought that we walked in was an opportune place to put a whole lot of cocktails and uh, tables so you could sit and drink and play. But I guess in a pub when you're drinking with cocktails maybe they don't mix as much but they are designed that way guys you know with the the, the glass uh, uh screens and everything they were designed to be in locations like that anyway super cool check it out if you can